Now you no longer need to watch any more PowerPoint tutorials to work with PowerPoint like a pro. Yeah, you heard that right. Now with Google AI Studio, you can learn to do anything inside PowerPoint in a step-by-step -step fashion, even if you have never opened PowerPoint in your life before. This is a game changer. So watch this video till the end to get mesmerized by the AI revolution. Let us jump right in. Before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. The first step is to open PowerPoint and keep this window ready for Google to access. Then let us go to Google and search for Google AI Studio. Now I have got this result. Let me click on it. And this is the interface I see. Here on the left, I have this option called Stream Real Time, which is the second option. Click on it and there you see three buttons. Click on the third button and that will allow Google to see your screen. Now I'm going to select this one called Presentation 1, which is the window open for PowerPoint and I say Share. Okay. Okay, so you are sharing a PowerPoint presentation. Is there anything else I can help with? Yes. I want help with creating a five-step process in SmartArt. Sure, I can help with that. Would you like to explore the different SmartArt options available? Or do you have a specific design in mind? I'm open to seeing any option that you have. Okay, let's take a look at the SmartArt options. In the PowerPoint ribbon, under the Insert tab, you'll find the SmartArt button. Clicking it will open a window with many different types of smart art diagrams. Would you like me to walk you through how to choose the proper one for a process? Or do you prefer to explore the different categories by yourself? Yes, I would like to go through the steps one at a time. So what should I do now first? Okay, the first step is to click on the insert tab at the top of the PowerPoint window. After you do that, let me know and we can proceed with the next step. Yes, I clicked on it. Now what? Great. Now, click on the Smart Art button, which is located in the Illustrations group within the Insert tab. Did that. Let me know once you've done. Great. Now you should have a window that popped up, allowing you to choose a Smart Art graphic. Let me know when you see that. Yes, I can see it. What should I select now? Okay. Now that you see the Smart Art graphic window, you can go to the Process category on the left side of the window. Yes. Then, choose a pro. Okay, within the process category, you'll find several options that display a series of steps or events in a sequence. Since you are trying to create a five-step process, select one of the designs that shows five steps. Let me know when you have done that. Yeah, I have selected one of the processes. Yeah, I've got it ready. Okay, it seems that the smart art graphic you selected has three steps and not five. You can add shapes using the Add Shape button on the left side of the Smart Art Design tab to add two more circles, so there is a total of five. Would you like me to walk you through adding those extra shapes? Yes, please. I want to know how to do that, but I cannot see any Add Shape button here. Okay, I understand. It looks like the Add Shape button is only visible when the Smart Art object is selected. Can you click on any part of the graphic to select it and then let me know if the Add Shape button appears in the ribbon? Yeah, I can see Add Shape here. Is there any other way that I can add two more steps? Yes, you can right click on the shape where you want to add a new step and then choose Add Shape. This method can be an easier alternative to using the Add Shape button from the ribbon. Would you like to proceed with this option? Yes, I have done right click and add shape. So uh, there are few options here, add shape after, add shape before, etc. So what should I select now? Since you're adding shapes to complete a five-step process, you'll want to choose add shape after. This will add a new circle after the one you have selected and will keep your process flowing in the correct order. Let okay. me know once you have added the two. I'm, I'm doing it. Great. So I've got two of them added now. Fantastic. You have added two additional shapes. Your smart art now has the five steps you were looking for. Would you like assistance with any other steps? Like adding the text into those shapes? Yes. I want uh, help in populating the various 
text elements. So what should I do now? Okay, to add text into the shapes, you can click on the bracketed text inside the shapes to type in your text. Or there is a text pane on the left side where you can also input the text. Let me know if you have any questions about that. No, I am going to do that. So I have my steps written. Excellent. Now, if I want to convert this into a shape, what do I do? This entire diagram, I want it as a shape rather than as a smart art. Okay, if you want to convert the smart art graphic to shapes, you would select the entire graphic and go to the smart art design tab. There you will find a convert button. If you click on that, it will provide you with options, including convert to shapes. Would you like me to walk you through it? Yeah, please. All right. The first step is to make sure the smart art graphic is selected. You can click anywhere on the outer edge of the graphic to select it. Then look for the smart art design tab in the PowerPoint ribbon. Is yes. that tab showing? Great. Now within the smart art design tab, look for the reset group. On the right side of that group, you should see a button labeled convert. Is that button visible? Yeah. Now I've clicked okay. on it. The drop down menu has opened. I need to choose convert to shapes. That's right. Select convert to shapes. After that, your smart art graphic will be converted into independent shapes that you can manipulate individually. Would you like to proceed? No, that's good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Nothing else. Thanks. Okay. Have a great day. So now, as you can see, even if you are a rank beginner in PowerPoint, you can do anything inside PowerPoint with the assistance of Google AI Studio. That's because now the program is able to see your screen and therefore respond accordingly. In my opinion, this is how the future is going to be. Now, this is not just for PowerPoint. You can learn pretty much any program using Google AI Studio. It is almost as if you have a tutor sitting right next to you and instructing you how to do every step. So in the future, I don't see any necessity for anyone to create any PowerPoint tutorials, especially on how to do things on screen. But at presentation process, we feel now we are even more relevant than before. That is because we don't just teach you how to do a certain thing on screen. We show you how to apply creativity so you can convey your message with impact. So if you're someone who needs to use PowerPoint as a professional and wants to make a strong impact in the way you create presentations, then please head over to presentationprocess.com and check out this program here called Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program and that will show you how to use PowerPoint in a creative and effective way. If you are a beginner and you want to learn the basics of PowerPoint so you can use tools like Google AI Studio a lot more intelligently, then please watch this video next called PowerPoint for Beginners which is already a very popular video with more than 4.2 million views. You will find the link to that right now on your screen. Click on that video and I will see you inside that. Thanks a lot.